Hello everybody, I'm Mantis Mavic, and today I have something special. This is going to be my first vlog. I'm going out onto the water with my boat and my drone. My dad and I recently put on a new coat of paint onto this boat, and we decided to take it out for a run on New York's Bay. A couple of seconds ago, you saw the interior of my boat, but these are all the waves that my boat was creating with its outboard motors. It was a smooth ride and it was great. Great for recording and time lapses. It took a while to get out there, but back on land I test flew my drone. Some of the pictures that I got here are of the different boats in the boatyard. But then I also had to try different exposures on my camera. I was transitioning between two different types of exposures, cloudy and sunny. Cloudy has more of an orange tint, and sunny has more of a brighter tint. On August 25th, the bay was very calm. It was perfect for recording and flying my drone. Up this ladder is to my roof on my boat where you can just step onto the upper part of the roof where there's tiki lights and speakers for music. It was very nice out that day. Over the bow of the boat was the anchor and the new bow thrusters that me and my dad installed. They were great as we tested them out leaving the dock, but now we're getting back into the boatyard videos. As you can see here, I'm on my boat flying my drone in the follow me mode, where it follows the remote. It was great, a little bit scary as we were going fast and the drone was trying to adjust and it was jerking around. Probably wasn't good for the drone so I plan not to do it again unless we're on hard land, but it was just a great experience and got some great footage. Besides testing out the boat's new bow thrusters, we came out with the idea of photographing and videotaping all of the bay houses on the bay. They're very hard to come by because most of them have been either wrecked by Hurricane Sandy or the marshland was swept out from underneath it from big waves caused by boats going by. If you were to go back in time, say 50 years or so, between 1940 and 1960, there were over 200 bay houses built. And then by 2002, there was only 38 left, and that was before Superstorm Sandy. These beautiful works of art are very hard to come by. I've only seen around 6 or 7 of these houses out there. There are most definitely more, but they're very hard to spot because they're small and they're on the marsh. Next up, I have the remnants of a house of a movie star. It was Gloria Swanson's house back in 1920. She was this famous actor in movies 
in New York City. That's where all the theaters were before Hollywood came up. She built this as a vacation home that she could visit from time to time because she was in New York City. She had a swimming pool with Italian imported mosaic. It was very rare for a bay house to have over two stories, but she had basically a mansion with two stories. It was insane for that time, and she had a swimming pool, which was that concrete hole in the ground filled with water. There was the remnants of a building that was right next to it, which might have been the guest room, and then there was a tank that was either for water or fuel for heating up the house or electricity. This bay house was built on mud stills, which was to support it. It was so light that it could have just been washed away, but it could have been moved. That was the idea of a bay house. It was so light that you could move it, but it was still somewhere you could live and just basically be able to eat, sleep, and not have to worry about strong winds blowing you away. The bay houses that you are seeing right now, I actually know the owners of these places. One of them recently died a couple of years ago, but the other owner owns his bay house because they were both good friends. Bay houses were also built so that fishermen could sleep there and wake up the next morning and be able to just get into a boat to either hunt duck, fish, or go crabbing and it was a great experience just to be there early in the morning because most of the fish are out then. For all of those people who have drones out there, I'm using the exposure cloudy and I'm also using the POI light mode. Next, I have a bunch of pictures of these bay houses that I just snapped as I was uh, flying around them. After I had landed on my boat's roof and used both of my batteries, I had to go home, and we took the long route around where we saw all of the expensive houses, which I have to say, they were beautiful. That's about it for this vlog. I have to say, I had a bunch of fun recording this and editing it and even doing this audio right now. It's the first time I'm doing it over a vlog and all that. Here's a shot of the moon, and I just hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which is going to be about a airplane show. It's gonna be great. Thank you.